Good afternoon, my fellow FAP students. Uh, what I would like to talk to you about today is the credit control area in SAP. And if you look at the previous uh, video I made, I was discussing the organizational structure of SAP. Well, the credit control area in SAP falls directly under the financial area of SAP. So basically, uh, the credit control area is part of SAP FI or FICO. Um, I've done a little diagram of the credit control area of SAP FI and I've used a hypothetical situation just to show you how this credit control area can be modeled. Basically, I'm just going to read a short little paragraph for you about the credit control area. The credit control area in SAP helps in administering the credit management functions relating to the customers. This organizational unit is used in both the uh, sales distribution and financial accounts receivable modules. By definition, you can have more than one credit control area in a client and each company code is assigned exactly to one credit control area. However, it is true that you can attach company codes to the same credit control area. The credit limits within the same credit control area are to be defined in the same currency. Credit information is made available per customer in the credit control area. So that is just a really short paragraph to talk to you about the credit control area. Uh, this is a hypothetical situation. So you've got the client here, which we've just given a number of 300. And under this particular client, you have uh, two credit control areas. So one credit control area would be credit control for India, and another credit control area would be credit control for US. Both of those fall under the client 300. And then you have three company codes. Two of those company codes will fall under the credit control area for India. So that would be company code 1100 and company code 1200 would fall under credit control area for India. And you have a third co company code, which is company code 2400, and that falls under the credit control area for the U.S. So that is an example of how you can have more than one credit control area within a client and you can have more than one company code within a credit control area, but you cannot have more than one credit control area within a company code. The, the company code only gets one credit control area. So I hope that you have gotten something beneficial out of this video. And I wish you well in your SAP FICO studies. Goodbye.